Did you cheap out and get the Sportband Apple Watch Edition like I did? Well, don't get me wrong, it's a great strap, but sometimes I don't want to look like I'm going to hit up the gym. That's where fancy straps like the Senna Heritage Leather Strap comes in. Let's check it out. I use my Apple Watch daily. I originally got the Sportband because, well, I couldn't afford anything else. But this is a $300 watch and sometimes I do want it to stick out. And that's where replaceable bands come in. The watch is a fashion accessory just as much as it is a piece of technology. And sometimes I want to dress up and look fancy and the sport band just won't cut it. Which is where something like the Senna Heritage Band comes into play. Senna is known for their leather products and their bands are of no exception to their history of quality. To install, first remove the old band by holding down the release button on the back side of the watch and then sliding them off. Then simply slide your new straps into place. Right off the bat, you can see the adapters fit snug with little wiggle room and sits flush against the rest of the watch. I own the space gray version, but the silver adapter does match the stainless steel Apple watch. I've worn the strap for over a month now and you can see it's held up pretty well. The outside is a tumbled brown leather and the inside is a thinner and lighter leather that almost feels like suede. I've taken it as my daily driver and I've also used it at the gym. You can see how sweat has soaked right into the leather on the inside, darkening patches of it, but it doesn't soak through to the other side. There's some text and their logo embossed on the inside that hasn't faded either. And all this is held in with a nice white stitching detail that hasn't loosened over time. The loops are a thin layer of the exterior leather and the buckle has a brushed silver finish that has scratched up a little but doesn't show much wear otherwise. Generally the weakest point for straps are the holes and I've used the third hole from the top every time. There is some wear on the hole and the surrounding leather but nothing is cracked or torn although there is some discoloration. Thankfully putting it on the large buckle does cover that up. And when on it's lightweight comfortable thanks to the sealed and soft edges and this proper spacing between the holes to have a snug fit on your wrist without it sliding around. In terms of what wrist this can accommodate, it'll go as small as 175 millimeters to as big as 215 millimeters in circumference. Otherwise, that's it. This is a simple, fancy leather strap made by a well-known leather brand. And they deliver on a quality product that over time, as you can see in mine, will grow more character through usage and darken up and show some nice wear. Best part is it retails for $70 but is on sale for about $35 at the moment. It'll fit both the Series 1 and Series 2 Apple Watches. I've got the brown Cognac, Cognac, Cognac but it comes in a gray and a blue denim as well. Links to that can be found below or to the right of my head. There really isn't anything bad to say about the strap. It's at a great price point for a quality leather product. Of course, I get that it's not going to appeal to everyone stylistically, but it's always nice to have a leather strap in your arsenal for a night out or when you want to play dress up. That's it. If you love what you see and want to support me in creating more reviews, head over to our Patreon and enter our monthly giveaway. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more, and leave a comment below letting me know what case you want me to review next. I rest my uh, strap?